Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking Transformer review because I love some freaking Transformers. I love some Legends. So today we got DX9. Yes, they are back. Oh my, they've been gone for a while. But we got DX9 Mini 01 Vasily or Vaseline. Uh, Vasile, Vasile, whatever. You know what it is. It's Double Dealer. All right. Little Triple Changer. I like the uh, box art. You got DX9 right there. Mini DX9. And on the back, warning, not for children or six. So if you're six years old and watching this or under, can't play with it. Can't play with it. All right. So we'll take a quick look what he comes with. Now, he does not come with instructions. They have codes now. Just like a uh, Transart does. So you gotta scan the code and do that. All right, comes with two weapons. Nicely painted silver. You got his missile and his gun. This little thing comes down, you can hold it. And this is a shoulder rocket, but you can put them together and they will be uh, for his, um, you know, missile carrier mode. But nice, it's painted. Then he comes with two of his uh, Power Masters. Uh, Knock and Scar, I think that's the name of them. And here he is. He's a little tiny. A little, little tiny. I don't know if you can even see the head or anything like that. The red is painted. And just look like it looks like he has a big bulge. That's all he has. He has a big bulge. Uh, you just fold it over. And you get the motor. So that's pretty cool. And then Scar. He's a bat. <clears throat> I think. And I think this uh, brown right there. Once again, the huge bulge. And the uh, purple. The wings are painted. And you just flip that over. And you got the other motor. Well, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's nice. They included those. So that's what he comes with. All right, here is Double Dealer in his missile carry mode. So what you do, you take the missile, you got this little tab right here, and there is a slot right there. You move the handle back, you know, it used to be down here if you want to hold it. You move it up right there, and you just slide it in. Slide it in. And there he is. Now, I think it really hides everything. I mean, it hides his face right there, and the bird face is right here, so that's pretty cool. Um, it looks pretty good. Now, you can go up a little bit, but not much with the missile, and you can't turn it at all. So, um, you do got some yellow for the rims. You got a little light blue here, a little red right there, yellow for the headlights, red right there for the window. Same materials. I mean, you know, Magic Square, uh, the rumor is you know, definitely Magic Square is from DX9, and uh, so is uh, New Age. But you can tell with this, the, with the way the plastic is, that you know, that gummy plastic, this is definitely uh, where, you know, Magic Square got their ins inspiration. So there you go. On the back, like I said, it cleans up pretty good. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to put the little uh, Power Masters in anywhere. You know, you got these little tabs, but, you know, you got these little tabs that, well, he's going to go into the uh, admin area. But uh, these tabs are too big, so you cannot attach them anywhere. I guess you want to... I meant you. I guess you could probably lift this up and maybe put it right there if you want to carry one of them. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, there's nowhere to tab them anywhere. So, but you know, but there they are. There's a knock and um, scar, and they stand up pretty good too as well. There you go. There's them. Uh, if you want to see underneath, that's what it looks like. Uh, rolls just fine. You know, nice and everything. So yeah, I like the mode. It looks really good. I like it. So there you go. All right, there's Wheelie, Magic Square Prowl. You got the New Age Prime Mode. You got Red Alert and Dustbuster Jazz for some scale.
right, folks, here he is in his bird or vulture mode. I think he was a vulture. I don't know, it looks like a vulture, but yeah, not bad. You know, it's a, it's the weakest out of the, you know, three modes. Um, I do like the missile carry mode a lot better, but, you know, that pulls it off pretty good. So you got the nice beak, you know, it's got orange, red for the eyes. Up and down, you do got a little hinge right there, so you can move it up and down. No side to side, so you can do that. Uh, the wings, you got a movement right there and a right there, and then this right here, and you can move them up and down a little bit. Not much down, this gets in the way, but a little bit, so that is there. Uh, the legs, you know, a little bit. There, you know, these arms right here are in the way. His robot arms are in the way a little bit. You can hinge out a little bit, and you can get a little bend right there. You get a bend with the foot and a swivel, so you get that. Uh, he does have a badunka dunk, <laughs> so you know he can stand. You just gotta, you know, position right because he is a little, a little butt heavy. But um, you can stand him. Let me try to see if I can do it. Come on now, may have to lean him up a little bit, but it will stand. And unfortunately, like I said, there's no really, I mean, not really a spot. I guess you could put him right there. Let me see if I can maybe fit. There's a little slot right there that might could fit right there. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. There you go. He could ride right there if you want to. Uh, the other one may have a little problem since he has wings. I don't know if he'll have enough room. No, I don't know if he'll have enough room to sit there. So you do got a little spot right there for the... Uh, for knock, if you want to do that. And you got this, uh, you know, missile right there. It just slides in right there. Fortunately, it does not slide anywhere on the bottom, like in the MP mode, you know, so it can be dick bird and everything. But uh, you got the same paint, basically just the beak and everything. And you do have a, I can put a stand. Uh, you just got this little open area right in here. And this stand will work, you know, if you want to do it like that. That's pretty cool, I guess. If you got like a C-clamp, you know, uh, stand, you can actually, you know, use that too as well. So, yeah, there you go. And once again, Wheelie, Magic Square Prowl, uh, New Age Prime. You got Red Alert and Dustbuster Jazz. Scale. All right, here is Double Dealer. Now, at the end, I didn't have the chest right. I had to press it in a little more and push the side things in there to uh, tab in there. 
So I'll just do that at the very end. All right, here he is. We got some nice head sculpt. Kind of look like Fort Max a little bit. Gray face, he got a little light blue eyes. Uh, as far as articulation, look down a little bit. Chin gets in the way up quite a bit. It's on a ball peg and it's got a hinge um, all the way around and give you a little attitude as well. Looks like you got Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> all right, you got red, blue right at the chest. Nothing really new as far as paint you've already seen. All right, all the way up to there, all the way around. You do got some waffles. Come on now. Um, got a nice elbow bend. Looks pretty good. Bicep swivel. Got a little this little going on right here. Kind of wish that locked in, but it's there. Um, swivel of the hand. A little bit's on a ball peg, so a little wiggle waggle right there. Very nice. All right, same thing over here. All right, he does have a waist swivel. You may have to lift this up a little bit to get, you know, a little bit more. So that's, you know, it's okay. Uh, he does have a ab crunch, kind of. So you have to untab. When you're transforming him, you have to untab that. And it will give you an ab crunch. You can pull it up, actually. Let's see if I can get this. Come on. There we go. Uh, so you do, you know, I guess it's kind of an ab crunch. But, yeah, you can look all the way like, hey there, everybody. Look at that. So that's a big ab crunch. So, yeah, you can do that. And just tab it back in. Move everything back up. All right. There we go, got a little snap right there. All right, so you do have to lift these flaps up right here, and you get about right there, not the full Van Dam. Uh, you do, I like how the hips go with it, so you get up to about right there, very nice. Nothing for the back, for some reason, it doesn't give you any back movement, just like most Magic Square stuff. You do got a thigh swivel right there on a mushroom peg. Uh, get the full knee, very nice. You get a double knee, that's really nice. All right, the foot, you got a toe tilt down all the way. A um, little up, not much. And that counts as your rock too as well. Not the whole foot or, you know, not the whole foot will go with it. Just what the foot will go, not the whole everything back there. <laughs> that got that. Okay. And the back cleans up pretty good. Got a nice little thing. I like how, you know, it hides in everything. You can see a little bit of the wings, but mostly hides everything. And you got everything that fills in the gaps right there. That is nice. All right. So with the little... Power Masters, like I said, they do have a little slot right there. And you just peg this one right here. I think it's right it's upside down. There we go. So you can use that. Now you do lose the, you know, waist rotation. So that kind of sucks. And then, give me that. Take the other one, Scar. I think he goes in like this. And you can have it like that. So, and with the weapons, you can spread those apart right there. And that's his weapon. He just um, move down the handle. There you go. And this will tab in right here. There's a little thing right there. And voila. You got his little missile launcher. So there you go. That is Double Dealer in a nutshell. All right, real quick, I want to show you how he scales up with the Magic Square. So you got the Prime, you got Blaster, you got Bumblebee, Mirage, and you got the Ironhide Mold. That's the uh, Die Clone one. And these are the older DX9 uh, Unique Toys. You know, they're the same company. These were the Headmasters, Hardhead, and Skull Cruncher. Uh, so he's a big fella. So there's some scale with some other Magic Square. And I forgot to put Magic Square Ultra Magnus with the other ones, but there he is. And New Age Megatron, Optimus Prime, and Mirage. Then you got uh, Core Class Wheelie, Dr. Woo Woo Woo, Will, um, you know, Ultra Magnus, uh, One of the Seeker from Iron Factory, and Tiss McGee, Retgar, Scale. And Crapagonics, Crappy Tool Paper, AAA Battery, Carmex, Care Bears, Kicker, and Squeaks, more Scale. All right, folks, let's talk about some VX9 Legend Scale, Vasily or Vasily. Oh, I said that right, Vaseline, I don't know, but you know who it is, it's Double Dealer. Yeah, we get a triple changer, Double Dealer. That's awesome in Legend Scale. I like it. Overall, really, really fun, a great Transformer. Um, if you don't like the gummy plastic that Magic Square has, you're not gonna like this, because it's the exact same plastic, uh, which I think I like, I like that. I think it, makes, it gives it that tune look a little better, you know, kind of the plain tune look. And also, with transformation, with it being, you know, all the flipping and flapping and everything, um, it really helps it. I think if it had new age kind of plastic and everything with theirs, which I love their plastic, but if it had that, I think there would be a lot of breakage. So the way their transformation, uh, which is, wow, the engineering on this thing is just bonkers. I love it. 
to get a triple changer out of a small legends is just awesome and they did a great job i like it um i like the um carrier mode or the missile carry mode looks really good uh, if i could you know if i could get two of these i would probably display with that the bird mode or vulture mode whatever you want to call it you know big bird it, it's fine you know it does what it's supposed to do and it looks fine it, like i said it's the weakest in my opinion um you may love it and that's awesome but um i think it's the weakest out of the modes and uh so yeah i mean it, it's okay um transformation like i said it's fun you know you do it a couple of times it gets a lot easier you know the first time you're going to be a little frustrated um, but it's not terrible, not like the Combaticons or anything like that, or, you know, their iron hire or something like that. Um, but, you know, it's still a fun transformation. You don't want to throw it across the room. I liked it. And like I said, the engineering is just wild. Um, the uh, accessories, you know, you got some, you know, waffles in there. Come on. Come on, Dixon. Magic Square, y'all better than that. Come on now. Uh, but they are painted. That's fine. That's cool. Uh, you got the two, uh, Knock and uh, Scar. That's cool. They threw a little Pal Master. That's awesome. They just flip down. You know, they got big crotches. That's awesome. Love the bot mode. Looks really good. Love the head sculpt. Paint wise, you know, with Magic Square and DX9, it's not a whole lot. You got a red, some blue here and there, light blue. You know, it's kind of plain. So, like I said, they're going for the tune look. So, uh, not a whole lot of paint. So, you know, that's fine. Um, articulation, pretty good across the board. All you really need is a um, butterfly. Uh, you got a nice ab crunch. Uh, when you do put in the Power Masters, you do lose the, uh, you know, the waist swivel. So, that kind of sucks. But, you can take them out but when you take them out it leaves a little gap in there it looks like a little belly button so you know it is what it is but yeah articulation you get in some really good poses i like that uh the materials like i said gummy plastic if you don't like it you're not gonna like this but i, I like it look at this I, I think it's good i hope gx9 is back and i hope they make some more we haven't seen anything uh after this yet so i'm hoping they do some more stuff and uh to go along with the magic square stuff and it's cool that we're gonna we have a double dealer that's also in legend scale i like it uh, so yeah, I do recommend it. It's like 40 bucks on Show Z, so definitely go check them out on Show Z. And uh, yeah, you definitely get this guy. Uh, so yeah, hit me up some like, share, prepare to Care Bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It all helps out the channel. Hit me up some comments. Let me tell the review. Are you getting this guy? I think you should. He's fun. If you like Magic Square, you're definitely going to like this. And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers and uh, hell freaking DX9 coming back. All right, good stuff. Well, hey there, everybody. If you made this far, as always, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, two things I forgot to go over. Um, the elbow's kind of weird. Uh, it's got like a hinge at the elbow. that has got a you know a ball joint on the top of it. It's just a weird, it's a weird elbow. Um, you know, it is for transformation. That's what he did. So yeah. And I also noticed that there's a little this little pin right here is kind of poking out again. You know, poking out. And uh, trying to fix it, trying to you know get it back in, but it just won't go in. So just hopefully yours won't be like that. And uh, yeah, what's up, everybody? My name is, I don't know why Double Dealer sounds like that, but my name is Double Dealer or Vaseline. Whatever you say. Hey, what's up, Vaseline? I meant Double Dealer. Don't call me Vaseline. Uh, okay, Vaseline. I mean, du Double Dealer. Yeah, I'm looking for Alpha Bravo. Um, yeah, he's over there. Oh, yeah. Come on now. You know what you owe me. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I got you. I got you on Monday. Man, you've been saying that for five million years. I said 50. You've been saying that five million years, man. You owe me some money. Pew, pew, pew. Oh. All right. Well, floor time. You got to love it.